Kel's face, and she says, no, Rob, I'm just like, ugh. I love her so much, yeah. Rob was the one that just killed me. Oh, uh, me too. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, you're great, I love you. I love you too. Hi, Jason. Hey, bud. So, two-part question. Why does he seem like a cool guy? I'm absolutely kidding. Are you on to take a photo? And two, um, White Walkers with Daenerys' dragons going to love versus you. Who would win? Dude, her dragons are going to just kick ass, man. That's why, I mean, that's the whole point. When they get over the wall, only fire can beat it, you know what I mean? Hey? Who do you think that black dragon is? I have a really funny joke. I told Amelia she's very cute and gullible, and like, she'll believe anything you say. And so I'm like, baby, I'm coming back next year. It's a secret. I talked to George. I'm actually the dragons. I'm gonna. I'm like. I'm the black dragon. And she's like, you are. I'm like, yeah. I'm doing his voice and everything. Like all the, all the growling, all that stuff. That's me. So I'm like, I'm watching you. And she's like, oh really? It's like so adorable. <laughs> oh, youth. Hello. Hello. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, how attractive do you think you are? <laughs> My favorite number is six, so I'd say six. I don't go to myself like I'm like, you guys do that. I don't. I'm not like, check no. It's not. It's not me. I'm, Hi. Um, my question for you is, what are the funniest shenanigans you guys got into off camera? On, on Game of Thrones? Yes. Well, uh, uh, how many kids are in here? I'm a, I love pranks. I don't like being, I don't like being pranked on, but I like giving pranks. And, uh, it was a really uncomfortable moment. I'm, I'm sure you guys have probably heard this, but there was a really uncomfortable moment where I have to do the love scene. I walk out, and there's my, there's my dingling. And uh, look at the camera. She's like, "Don't fall, bro." <laughs> so there it is. Uh, I'm out there, and I'm walking into the scene. There's my, my bottom, and uh, between my legs, you see Dan Aries. And uh, I thought it'd be funny because I. It's literally January in Belfast, which is cold. Not too cold, you know what I mean? <laughs> they had the propane tanks going, so it's alright. It wasn't that cold. But uh, I thought it'd be funny to put a little, uh, funny little socks on my, on my dingling. And uh, so I put on this little fluffy pink polka dotted sock. And, uh, you know, kind of like that. And... And then I, uh, I walked out and she started laughing so hard. And um, they're like, what's going on in there? We gotta go. And I'm like, I'm the one that's naked here. Go fuck yourself. I'm just like, I'm trying to make people uncomfortable. Like, they're just the grip. I'm like, hey, Bob, how's it going? He's like walking around, just like flapping around in the breeze. Everyone's like, Jesus. Oh, man. I'm like, what? 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 What's the matter? Oh, you mean you want to pick that up? Oh. And so when I'm really uncomfortable, I try to make everyone else feel uncomfortable. It seemed to work so far. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad I shared that with everyone. <laughs> now, not just those five people, but the whole world knows now. Shaq Mishraki, Annie. Shaq Mishraki, Annie. You know how I came up with Drogo's voice? You guys are going to get a kick out of this. Uh, it's really like in between Jabba the Hutt, like Chewbacca, and uh, Fozzie Bear, like, waka waka. <laughs> Seriously. It's an amazing accent. Thank you. It's all Jabba. Jabba and Drogo just hanging out. Um, what, is, what do you think is the most badass quote in Game of Thrones? The badass, badass quote? Oh, man, baby, I, I drink a lot. <laughs> I can barely remember my lines. Uh, sorry. What's your favorite quote? That's a, you know what? My daughter named her little dragon egg Dracaris, and the other one's Drogo. But she thought it was a name, but Dracaris means fire, right? Like, light it up. Mm -hmm. That's a bad, that's my favorite quote, too. Dracaris, you're like, oh shit, that's awesome. 
It's like the, the eject button, you know what I mean? Boop, you're fucked. <laughs> Well, in real world, um, I'm married already. Sorry. Um, hi, I'm Lisa. Um, what's your favorite house in Game of Thrones? I mean, it's just really Danny left in Targaryen, right? But yeah. I mean, her brother's a douchebag, so. <laughs> Uh, that was an awesome scene, by the way. That scene was, yeah. That was the one of the most underrated scenes for me. I mean, uh, for for myself when I read, it, I was like, ah, it's not that cool. And then on the day, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna pour this over his head. And I wanted to. We only had one take. I was kind of scared, and because I was like, if I mess this up, like the whole day is screwed because I gotta land like this golden melted chocolate over his head perfectly and make it look amazing and at the same time you want to be free as an actor and so when I did it I just like walked right over and I was like I was kind of nervous and used the F word F it dumped it on his head and I just got right in there and I started smelling him I just wanted to like that's what Drogo does you know he's killed people so many different ways he's just like you're like that's so wrong he's just smelling I'm like that smells good I was like, that's what makes him, that's what was gnarly to me. It's like, I'm not sure what the mixture was. I wouldn't want